What's up guys, Brennan here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a piano tutorial for the beautiful song, Glimpse of Us by Joji. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out as a small creator here on YouTube. And it also helps you guys out because then you don't miss out on any of my future piano tutorials, covers, and educational videos. And with that, let's get right into it. So before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and play the arrangement that you're learning in today's video. Okay, so we're going to start with the right hand intro part. You're going to have your thumb here on F, your pointer finger on G, and your third finger on G sharp. And it's going to go like this. Then you're going to go between G sharp and B flat, and you go. Then back down to these two. All together. It's going to go 
So that's F, G, G sharp, C, B flat. Then you go B flat again. Then you go G, G sharp, F. It's a little bit tricky. So the second part is. So all together it's. Second part. In the left hand, you're going to play four chords. A chord is a group of two or more keys played at the same time, like this. This is a chord. This is a chord. So the first one is your pinky on B flat, middle finger on C sharp, and thumb on F. Okay? Then you move to this one, your pinky on G. Middle finger on B flat, thumb on D sharp. Then you move up to this one, pinky on G sharp, middle finger on C, thumb on D sharp. And then the last one you do, you keep your pinky and middle finger the same, but you move your thumb up to F. So that's G sharp, C, and F. So all together we have the first one, Second one, third one, move just the thumb, fourth one, and it starts back over. First one, second one, third, move that thumb, fourth. So take a second and practice that if need be. We're going to put both hands together here. So it's going to be hands ready on the first one in the left hand, right when you hit the F in the right hand. So it's going to be like this. Now when you go back down to G is when you switch to the second one. Then, third one, last one. So I'm going to do that without talking so you can just watch me. second part here so you need to go back to this one right and we go when you go up to the C is when you switch to the second one switch last one so just to go over that second part again it's So full speed, it should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to learn the next part in the right hand. So you're going to be playing C and then G sharp. So it's going to be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you go down to the G sharp. Which is a she takes the world off my shoulders part. So it's. Okay. Then you go. So that's B flat, C, and C sharp. And it goes. So try that together. Okay. Then you go down to B flat and thumb on D sharp. And you go the same thing where it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. And then
then you go. So that's this one twice, and then you go back and forth between these. So that's pointer finger on G sharp, middle finger on B flat, and fourth finger on C. So it's. Let's try that second part together. Okay, then we go back to the first one, but you change it slightly. So now we go back to C, right? And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then this one. And then you go. So that's F, G, G sharp, and immediately goes to C sharp. And then you go. So remember, we end it here, we go. So I'm going to show you that all together. So it's. That's a little bit tricky. Feel free to pause that and practice. Okay, and then the last part here is. Right, just like we learned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes. So that's B flat, C, C sharp. So it's. So all together it's. One more time. So now feel free to pause and practice everything we learned in the right hand so far. So just to go over this right hand part on its own full speed, it's like this. playing those four chords that we learned earlier just in a different order so this is gonna mess your brain up a little it's gonna take some getting used to but as you practice it it'll get much easier so now we're gonna start on this one which previously we ended on it so we're gonna start with our pinky here in G sharp middle finger in C thumb on F so this one first then we move your pinky and middle finger up to these. Remember this one? We did this earlier. Then we move down to pinky on G, middle finger on B flat, and thumb on D sharp. And then the one we end on is this one. Pinky on G sharp, middle finger on C, and thumb on D sharp. So now the order is this. First one. Second one. on fourth one and you're gonna do each one four times so it's gonna be like this Now we're going to put both hands together here. So the best way to do this is kind of just watch me do it and practice it a bunch and then you'll get the hang of it in terms of when to do each one. But as long as you know that you hit each chord in the left hand four times and no more than four times, you won't mess up the time. So when we put both hands together, I'm going to say switch whenever I want you to switch in the left hand. So here we go, both hands together. It's going to be exactly like this, nice and slow. So this one comes in at the same time, so it's... And when you go to this key is when you switch to the second one. Now you switch to the 
this one when you hit this key. saying the word switch when I want you to move in the left hand. So here we go. Starting on these at the same time. sharp, point your finger in G, and thumb on F, and you're going to go, right? Then you go G, G sharp, C sharp. So all together, it's and then in the left hand, you do this one four times. That's one we did earlier, pinky on B flat, middle finger in C sharp, and thumb on F. One, two, three, four, down to this one, four times. G, B flat, D sharp. So both hands together, it's gonna be like this. And when you hit F is when you start on the first one. So in the right hand, it's going to be like this. Okay, so you're starting on your thumb on C and C sharp. So you go and cross over to B flat. So you're doing this one this one twice and this one three times. So it's one, two, one, two, three. Then that repeats. So try that with me. Repeat. And then you go. So that's C, D sharp. And you jump all the way up here to this C, and then you go G sharp, B flat, G sharp, F. So it's one 
one more time. So all together it's. Then the second part's similar, it's. That part's the same. And then this part's different. So that's C sharp, D sharp, F. And then you go back to this section where it's C, D, D. So it's a little bit tricky at first because it's just very slightly different. So that second part is. Next part. Okay, so all together it should be like this. And then in the left hand, you're going to start on this one now. So B flat, C sharp, F, then you can play it twice. Then you're going to go to this one twice. Then you do three really quickly after each other. It's this one. And then the last one. So try that all together. It's a little bit tricky to memorize. So it's one, two, switch, one, two, this one, this one, last one, two, okay? And then that whole thing repeats. One, two, one, two, this one, this one, one, two. So feel free to pause the video and practice that. I'm going to do it without talking so you can watch. tricky to get the hang of but um, once you practice it it gets a lot easier so now we're going to put both hands together here so it's switch and then this is the tricky part when you go to this high C you switch to this one Watch me do it again. that again so this one you play the two C's and then you come in the left hand same for the second section that you repeat so it's now you come in switch this one this one last one So then the left hand stays the same as what we just learned, and then the right hand goes like this. So you have your pointer finger in G, G sharp and F, so it goes. So it's. So it's G, G sharp, F, F three times, so it's. And then you do G three times. And then you go. So 
So that's C, B flat, and G sharp. And you go, repeat, back to F. So all together, starting on G, G, G sharp, F, 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 G, G sharp, G, G, G. Repeat, F. Then you go, G sharp, G, C, C sharp. Then you go, D sharp, C, B flat, G sharp, G sharp. So to go over that last part, All together, that section is. And the left hand stays exactly the same as we just learned. So now we're going to put both hands together. So here we go. So when you go to this F is when you start in the left hand. So it's this one on its own, together. Then when you go to G, switch. When you go to C, you switch. immediately into this so it's back to the first one this one is the end one so it's a little bit tricky but think of it kind of like on a loop so all together it's like this So then at this point, the song repeats of everything that we've learned so far. So then it goes back to this section that we learned earlier, right after the intro, which is. into this part where it's so in the right hand that's C sharp hold it then you go G sharp G and then you go regular C then that repeats C sharp 
G sharp, G, C. And in the left hand, you go back to this familiar chord here, B flat, C sharp, and F, and you go four times. And then you go back to this familiar one, which is G sharp, C, and D sharp. And you do this four times. So it's like this all together. Then you switch right before you hit the C. So it's So then after you do that, then it goes back to the chorus. And then it goes. but you don't repeat them, you just hold it out. So it's switch, last one. So it's just to put together those two last sections, just so you can see how they flow together. Here it's going to be like this. So it's And there you have it. That is the entire tutorial for the song Glimpse of Us by Joji. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future piano tutorials, piano covers, and original music. Don't forget to create art, and I'll see you guys next time.